Many questions remain unanswered about the shooting of an undercover Baltimore police officers and a gunman, which left an officer wounded and the suspect dead. So this shooting happened Monday morning on Westwood Avenue near Elamont Street in West Baltimore. Uh, we have WMA News Mark Roper outside shock trauma in downtown Baltimore, where Mark that injured officer is still recovering from his injuries. How's he doing? Good morning, Christian and Ashley. Well, police haven't identified the officer, but the police union tweeted out that the officer was shot in the leg and is expected to be okay. But there are still many details police have yet to release about what happened. Now, the shooting incident started out while two plainclothes officers were on a surveillance assignment in West Baltimore around 940 Monday morning. They were working on serving a domestic violence warrant, but it's not clear if the person killed is a person who was wanted for the warrant. The Baltimore Police Commissioner Michael Harrison says the suspect drove onto the same street where the officers were and while facing them stopped got out of his car walked up to the undercover police vehicle and fired upon the two officers as they sat in their car one of the officers was shot in the upper thigh Harrison said at least one of the officers shot back, shooting the suspect multiple times. But we don't know if there were other officers already in the area for backup. Both the suspect and the wounded officer were taken to shock trauma. The suspect died while the officer is now recovering from his injuries. Police haven't identified the suspect, and it's not clear if the gunman was the actual target of the undercover mission. This violence has to stop, but the members of our police department are proactive and were where they were supposed to be, doing what they were supposed to do, actually looking for a violent offender to arrest, and were attacked by a suspect who is now dead as a result of his actions. Now, Baltimore police do wear body cameras, but police haven't confirmed if those cameras were turned on. And it was just last year when Harrison introduced a policy regarding body cameras that that video would have to be released upon a week after an officer shoots someone pending a review process. We are live in downtown Baltimore. Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.